Hey guys, Thunderhound369 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at G.I. Joe Renegades Cobra Trooper, or more specifically, the Security Trooper. Now, I picked this guy up at uh, one of my local Walmarts just a couple of days ago, out doing some, you know, I was out paying my bills and stuff, what little bit of time I've get between uh, shifts and stuff, out paying a few bills, picking up some groceries, and just happened to make a trip over to the toy aisle, and this was the only new G.I. Joe figure they had, so I went ahead and picked him up, and I understand he's uh, kind of going to be kind of hard, one of the harder ones to find right now, so anyway, I just happened to look up and find him. He was the only one hanging on the peg, so I went ahead and snatched him on up for right around six ninety nine. So if you happen to see him at your local Walmarts, grab him. Uh we'll go ahead and take a look at the front here real quick. As you can see, not in my normal spot. You can see he's got some nice little artwork of the Cobra Trooper here on the side, you know, and he's got his uh half faced helmet on and you know because he does come with an alternate head. Got the nice G.I. Joe logo up here with the Renegades right across the top. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the back here. <clears throat> also shows a nice little artwork of uh, the Cobra Trooper here. Cartoon style with a nice little Cobra logo here just off to the side and infantry. Other figures, I believe, in this is Wave 3 now or wave two, wave three. I can't keep up with the waves, so I believe it's wave three. Um, other figures in this wave include Ripcord from G.I. Joe Renegades, Scarlet from G.I. Joe Renegades, uh, Tunnel Rat from the Renegades as well, Duke from Renegades, who I've already picked up, the 30th anniversary Techno Viper and I am really really looking forward to this guy when I see him because I'm a huge fan of pretty much anything Viper and the Techno Viper, Tele Vipers, all those guys were spot on I cannot wait to get my hands on him. Uh, Storm Shadow from the Renegades, Cobra Trooper who we'll be looking at here in a few moments. Sorry for all this glare because like I said I'm in a different spot the lights kind of behind me shining at packaging um, Iron Grenadier and the Renegades version of Cobra Commander like I said got all this glare going on here down here we got the nice little dossier for the Cobra Trooper nice little Cobra logo just up here in the uh, left hand corner with a nice little Cobra seal of approval just off to the side here where my thumb is says code name Cobra Trooper Infantry name not applicable mostly could be anybody could be your next door neighbor for all you know um, birthplace various countries primary weapon is a plasma pulse weapon system which I want to point out something about that here in a moment I believe Lunacy05 has already done a video on this guy, and I think he he may be he may have pointed out the same issue that I'm going to point out. Combat gear comes with a security baton. He also comes with a pair of handcuffs, which they did not list. His armor, his flak jacket which is removable which should have been combat gear and knee pads as well and most of the time they do try to list the separate head which I which is kinda creepy that they do list separate heads on here ever so often but that's kinda weird but anyway it goes into saying Cobra Troopers are the secret army of the Cobra organization they have no names and their faces are hidden behind masks your face is not hidden just behind a pair of goggles your mask 
What's up with that? You're not hiding your face. Oh well. I'm not going to argue with you. You got the gun. It's pointed at me. I'm not. I'm not going to argue with you. Anyway, they guard Cobra buildings, perform acts of sabotage and destruction, and hunt for the renegades who are trying to reveal the truth about Cobra and its mysterious leader. And that's pretty much that. You know, we got the Hasbro logo. Hasbro Canada, you know, where the, everything was made. <clears throat> so, now we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the figure itself. First off, we'll take a look at the uh, little accessories that he comes with. He's got the uh, handcuffs just here. Nice little accessory there. And they do work. I would, I'll, show, I'll demonstrate those in just a moment. I believe these are a uh, first time molding for these. I don't believe we've ever had these in a G.I. Joe figure with a figure before, so nice to see there. Also, we have the uh, alternate head, which is mostly a gray plastic with some blue paint just back here. And the red painted, the goggles, which are painted red. And the face mask itself being painted in blue. I like it. Whoa! Hey! Come back here. Slippery little devil, wasn't you? Anyway, nice little mold. I like that. Also, we'll go ahead and take him off his little display stand here. We'll see if he'll stand on his own. Hey! Display stand he comes with. Got your typical display stand. It's been coming with the G.I. Joe figures for the past two to three years. Just a basic Cobra mold on top. Two foot pegs. Cobra Trooper on the front. That way you know who who he is. That way you want you got the Cobra Trooper. That way you won't be putting blowtorch or somebody on this stand. Nothing on the back. Nothing major. Anyway, we'll go ahead and take a look at the other accessories here. He comes with the uh, baton or tonfas. The battle tonfa. Now look at you, you ain't wanting to stand. We'll let you lean up against the background. How's that? Got the nice little tonfa or baton, billy stick, night stick, whatever you want to call it. He can will he can hold it here or here. I choose to let him hold it just here. That way the long part's going up the forearm and the smaller part's sticking out. That way he can just get a good short jab at you. I do believe this is a unique mold as well. Never before seen in the G.I. Joe universe. Got some nice little detail running down the handle. I do like that. Now, his gun the plasma pulse rifle is a mold all to itself it's brand new to the GI Joe universe the only problem is is where the handle and the clip and this guard I guess you want to call it hand guard are so close together there is a certain way you have to put this into his hand you kinda of have to put it in and twist it just to get it to the thumb. I mean, once you get it in there, he holds it quite well. As you can see, I have no issues with him holding it. So we'll go ahead and take that out. As you can see, the plasma pulse rifle. Now I like the look of this pulse rifle. It's just one big it's just one molded piece of gray plastic with just one little bitty uh, red paint job right here 
Love the way that looks. Very unique in, in and of itself. But with it being a plasma pulse rifle, I don't understand why there's a clip here. I don't understand that unless this thing has a secondary uh, machine gun unit in it. I don't understand, you know, since it's plasma, I don't understand that. But again, it could be a secondary machine gun unit within it, within the gun itself. But very nice, very nice indeed. <clears throat> now also, the vest itself is removable. I usually don't like to remove stuff like this because I usually have a hard time getting it back on. So uh, if you'd like to see the figure without the vest, go check out Lunacy 05's review. I'll probably post a link to it for you for you guys to go check out. But it's a uh, one piece of blue plastic, sort of a softer plastic. Now the one thing that I noticed about that Lunacy pointed out on his review of this guy is the same issue I have on mine. The Cobra logo is crooked. Lunacy pointed it out, so I'm going to point it out on mine. Mine is also crooked as well, but it is a very nice paint job on the logo. Got nice little molded pockets and pouches all around the bottom of the vest. Then on the back, it's got the nice little white Cobra logo on the back with security across the back. I really like this guy mainly because he says security. The main reason why I like this guy is because I used to be a security guard myself, but I didn't have all this high-tech gadgetry, but buddy, do I ever wish I had it. It would have been nice. And then he's got the something that I didn't even notice it. You know, I've had this guy for two or three days now, and I didn't even notice this until Lunacy pointed it out. Got a hole right back here. And I've been wondering where to put those handcuffs all the, for these past few days, and now I know. So thank you for that, Lunacy. Appreciate pointing that out. The rest of the uniform for the Cobra Trooper, the knee pads are removable. Nice little molded gray plastic. Dual layers. Got nice little pop rivets just here and there, just off to the, each corner. Like I said, they are removable. Just got a little peg hole here and a square peg on his kneecap. You just peg those on. And why, why, why they're even removable, who knows? But uh, as far as the overall paint scheme of the guy, you know, he's got the same gray molded helmet with a little bit of blue in the back and his face, which I can go ahead and remove that. His, his face got the nice little flesh tone paint scheme. No, no blotches to that. Red goggles looks good, real good. I'll go ahead and put him back in here. Now the only issue that I really have is the collar around the top of the vest is kinda it rides a little high and kinda hides his face a little bit so I do have an issue with that but I can deal with it. Overall the uniform is a light lighter blue kind of a denim style material. And then he has the blue shoulder pads just here with the Nice little Cobra logo on each shoulder. Red bands around the uh, cuffs of the short sleeves. Nice flesh tone skin on the arms. Nice gray gloves with a little bit of red just on the glove itself. And I've got a little visitor that just walked through the bedroom door. Charlie has made an appearance. She, it's hard to tell where she'll go from here. And then just around the cuff of the pants leg, you've got this nice little red band. Nice little gray boots with some blue just on top. Like I said, you know, this 
this whole piece is removable so pretty much the rest of this just in behind there is pretty much blue plastic and uh, I do believe that most of this guy was used reused from the dusty figure I think is where most of this come from the only new mold new parts of the head and from the knees down I think are the only new parts but the rest of him is pretty much dusty nice little use of all that though I think it all does come together very well <coughs> pardon me now as far as his articulation goes his head will go full 360 it is not in the least hindered by the collar we'll look up and down slightly to the side shoulders will go full 360 out to here swivel just at the elbow and bends not 90 degrees at the elbow wrist joint does swivel does not have the newer articulation where, the, where one wrist swivels up and down and the other swivels in and out does not have that uh, now he does have upper ab articulation with the vest on it is hindered quite a bit in all ways he will not swivel full 360 will not does have the cannot get in there to get the ab crunch going but he does have an ab crunch so he will go forward and back side to side and full 360 I think as far as the legs we'll go forward to here back just a little out to the side and he does have a double jointed knee <coughs> As far as his feet, they will swivel all the way around, full 360, pivot back, up, no side to side. Now, as far as the alternate head, you can swap out. Now, I haven't really decided which one I like better. I don't know if I like the half mask or the full mask. I mean, the full mask just like this it's creepy as hell like that I like that look but still you know I'm trying to I'm trying to stay you know as loyal to the show as I possibly can so right here's what I'm going with uh, I don't normally army build but I have seriously considered about picking up maybe a couple more of these and using the alternate heads on the other two figures sort of a uh, commanding officer kind of thing going on here but overall you know again the only issue I really have is mostly with this pulse rifle getting it in his hand is a bit finicky but again as you can see it does go in very well it does go in it stays in very well and I do wish they'd have had some other way to store this battle baton because I, I've been displaying him like this is how I keep him displayed and then thanks to Lunacy05 thank you for that one now I know where I can put these handcuffs and not lo and not lose them at least now um, like I said a couple slight issues you know that I have are mostly with the uh, plasma rifle being slightly closed together and the uh, collar just around the face <coughs> other than that I love the figure I think it is one awesome looking figure I really like it I've enjoyed it every time I look up on the shelf I get it I love this guy 
I mean, that is all I can say is I just love this guy. So all I can say, guys, if you can find him, pick him up. You won't be disappointed. I mean, especially if you're a G.I. Joe fan, if you love the Renegades, or if you're just looking for something, you know, because there's a lull out there in whatever you, you collect, I highly recommend picking this guy up. I mean, you cannot go wrong. And like I said, you know, I main reason for me to pick him up, you know, he's a Tobra security trooper. I used to be a security guard, so this could be me, you know. Anyway... So guys, I'm Thunderhound369. This has been my look at the G.I. Joe Renegades Cobra Trooper. I highly recommend picking one up if you can find him. Until next time, guys, I'm out of here. See y'all.